Well, he does that with the shield, which is uh, a little more, it's easier to do, and it's kind of reminiscent of Brawl, where you're running a shield for, you shield for like a split second and then you grab. So, he's got, definitely got little like influences. And I think, you know, Brawl is also the kind of game where if you're not methodical, you can't, you can't succeed. Yeah, if you try to autopilot, you'll just get... Uh, yeah, so... Blown away. <laughs> blown away, dude. Ooh. I suspect... Dude, both these guys play both these colors. I am not entirely I think sure. Zach is orange. I have that feeling as well. But I, I think Fiction's usually blue, and like Zach is more apt to switch. Yeah, I think so. So let's see. Oh, it looks like... Yeah, yeah, it looks like SFAT's... SFAT's red. Okay. All right, fiction. And just in their styles, like the red fox is definitely going for like less textbook stuff and more just like lots of double shines in the edge, like yeah. So how how important is the grab in this matchup? Uh, it's ridiculous. I mean, it sets up everything. It's like the only thing that can be crouch canceled besides drill. Uh, it sets up your punish game any way you want, and you can chain grab, you can up smash, you can just tech chase. Uh, but it's laggy, and it's, you know, and if they have a move out, it will lose to any <laughs> move. So it is his, it is its weaknesses, you know, and, and versus certain uh, certain players, I should say, like Hacks, who just seems to, like, he always has a hitbox out because he's, like, he's always doing those retreating mirrors, shines, you know, double Pressing shine. all the buttons. Exactly. So it's it's hard to grab certain uh, certain players, mm -hmm. and that's why you th there's kind of this raw paper, scissors, you know, of course. Grab beats shield, shield beats move, move beats grab. Uh, and it becomes really evident uh, in this matchup, I think. That was a nice little shine saw from yeah. Conviction. I feel like a lot of flexes don't do that, especially in teams. Like, Oh, dude, yeah. I think it's so good. Like, uh, That's one of the things I, I stole from Cactuar, because we play a lot. And, like, I'm he's jealous. He's, like... I think I got him off the stage, and he'll just, like, shine saw. And, like, in the four seconds that takes, like... I mess up. Yeah, you're like, all right. Uh, and it, and it, I had time to think about it. You had time to think about it. Yeah, that's a big problem sometimes. And it, and it, you know, foxes that don't shine stall, essentially they're like Captain Falcon and that you always know when, at, oh, at a certain a point. There's a from Fiction. That was nice. That was nice, yeah. Um, oh my god. All right, wait a minute. <laughs> oh, he tried to get the, the double. <laughs> the double Korean DJ. Uh, Zach is just pressing a lot of buttons. <laughs> he did a laser, which doesn't do anything. <laughs> he got damage. He got, he got, he got shield percent. damage? <laughs> I think he was, it was shield pressure. <laughs> Oh, technically, no, that's right. It technically does have shield stun because uh, it has that little moment of... Where it hits the shield and... Yeah, like hardly any, but... Dude, um, what was I going to say? Yeah, if, if, if Fox shine stalls, the thing about him is, like, you can't... You don't know when he's going to double jump anymore. Mm -hmm. So you can't... So, like, right there, if, if Lucky, like, just or knew... SFAT? Sorry, yeah, if SFAT knew... Yeah, yeah, yeah. If he knew, okay, my opponent has to double jump now, he could have thrown on a move, stuffed it, or just gone to the ledge. But with the shine stall, it's always scary. So, oh my god, and that could be it. Oh. All right, Fiction. Fiction's hands aren't entirely broken, so. <laughs> yeah. He told me he's been doing some stretches. It's good. It's important. Like, to all you young smashers out there, like, definitely play this game, um, but maybe not play it to the point where you're destroying your life. So Didn't Hacks go to the ER like last year? I, yeah, but for his knee. No, but for his hand. Oh, you're right. I heard about that. I know I made a Tumblr post about it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. There we go. There we go. I think you're right. I think he, he did. I think the big one uh, was his knee injury, though, because, you know, everyone immediately decided to make... Joke. Yeah. Uh, we're going to be above that. Uh, but to all you stream monsters, I'm sure you're already uh, on it, so... <laughs> Ooh, there we go. Uh -huh. oh. Nice. I feel like a lot of this matchup is just like not getting knocked down. Cause like yeah, Fox. Oh, Flutter Hush. Oh, that could have been bad, but he doesn't pick up. Um, cause well, at least coming from Peach player, like uh, Fox has less time to tech, less room for error. Yeah. And so once they get that, that knockdown, they can just cover your tech rolls or your get up attack. Right, on reaction. With Peach, you have to do that Armada stuff with like the dash attacks and <laughs> or just go for a read. The death touch. Yeah, dude, I actually like started experimenting with stealing that for Armada, like actually tech chasing with dash attack with Fox. Um, and it's really good. Yeah. 
So, yeah, I mean, if you were wondering, uh, uh, Peach players are not the only pe people learning things from Ramada. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's that good. All right, on the other setup uh, is Silent Wolf versus Call Ball. And I'm not sure what we're about to see over here. I feel like Axe? We've got game three over here. All right, game three. Uh, Lucky seems to be lined up, so maybe he has something coming up. But right now, Fiction is looking to close out this first stock versus SFAT, but SFAT makes it back. Oh, and what is going on? Oh my god, the down tilt just sends him forever. I've been doing a lot of down tilts the last couple stocks. Dude, they're great. They're so good. Oh my god. Either it pops you up for like really bad position, or you like smash it all the way out there, and then you're off the stage, and like, oh. Right. And most of the time, it's the former, which like is, is totally... Fox is okay with that. Yeah, Fox is okay with that. Thanks, Dream End. Okay. Ooh, I like the recovery. But this should be death. Yeah. Yeah. We're all like, uh, yeah. Okay. Ooh, the pivot down air? That was... I was I was talking to Fiction about that earlier. He was telling me, like, dude, uh, today, he was like, dude, pivot down air is something I've been experimenting with, which is really, really good in Fox but it's really hard to do. I never get it. <laughs> so he must be playing really well right now. <laughs> nice. Oh. oh, dude, and Fiction, who has never beaten SFAT, uh, this could be big for him right now. Oh my god. Oh, oh dude, SFAT, why? Oh. <laughs> there right. we go. Dude, that was almost <laughs> horrendous. Like, he was almost up three stocks. But sac the Sakurai elevator just took him back to the stage. Yeah. Thank god. <laughs> Where god in this case is Sakurai. Fiction is approaching a lot of drills, and Zach's just doing like running shines and like back airs. Yeah, I the running shine is cool because you can't really. There's nothing to react to. You're, there's no short hop to react to to dash back and, and set up a dash dance grab. But it's 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 weak in that it doesn't have range, but it's really strong in that it's it does it's it's not telegraphed and it's invincible. And it's well, it's invincible for that one frame. Yeah, meaning. If they can beat it by just having a move out before you get to them to do the shine. But once you get to them, you're good. Yeah. All right, Fiction. Strong lead here. Strong lead. Oh. All right. That was almost bad if he had gotten shine the other way. Yeah. Oh. So I was going to ledge. Put it back right there. Right. Oh, that's a missed uh, jump cancel up smash. Whenever you see that fox go, like they they get to the tech and then they just do a full jump. That's always <laughs> what that is. Nice grab. Okay, he's gonna make something big happen here. Nice. Oh my god. And I like how Zax like throws out lasers, like when he can't throw up. Yeah. Like some, sometimes the three percent will make a difference. Oh, honestly, yeah. Oh, okay. Opportunity right now. Okay, good recovery from Fiction. I like it. Yes. Nice. Oh, that, that's the chillin'. That is the chillin'. That is the chillin'. Pay respects to your elders, kids. <laughs> All right. S Fat fighting from behind. Greedy grab, Ooh. but he's not dead yet. Oh, this is it. Might die for that. Oh, Super good DI. Is he? Wow. Yeah, he's he's back. Oh, he. He clangs the upside with the shine. That was nuts. Oh my god. This is his chance right now. At 85, just like that. <laughs> the shine's clanking. Dude. Oh, that's oh, it. That's it. That's it. That's no, it. Poor oh. <laughs> the glory was almost there. Yeah. Yo, Shep. Shep. You. Alright. Looks like. Man, all of these sets, like, it even even the ones that seem like they're going to be close or it seems like someone's going to just blow it out, like Auto vs. Lucky, and they just end up coming down to the wire one way or the other. It's been nuts. Yeah, I think that, that last string from SFAT is, like, exemplary of what we were talking about, like, kind of Spitfire playstyle. Like. Yeah. Dude, that's the, to me, that's the classic. Just the up throw, up smash, get the tech stage, up smash, and then you know you get the third up smash. Mm -hmm. You just need to hit the tech stage once. You get up smash, up smash. Then you have three up smashes, they're in the air, and you can go for either up air, back air, whatever you want. At that point, they're at 80, and then you can set up an edge guard. It's like, if you just get that one up the up smash, and they don't land on a platform, and you get the tech chase, 
Like, they're in for a world of hurt. And that's that's just the matchup. Like, it's looking right now. Like, I think Hacks got it. I don't know if... No, they need to play. Zach and Hacks need to play. Wait, Zach is... How is Zach... Wait, what are the scores right now? So, with this one going in, uh, Zach is four, a three and one. And then oh. Four, oh. Who is... Oh, Hacks has not lost yet. All right, so let me see the records right now. Hax is four zero. Hax is four zero. S Fed's three and one. S Fed's three and three and one. Oh wait, so right, so if S Fed wins this, he does he win or is it a tie situation? He wins head to head. He okay, so if S beats Hax in the head to head. They will be tied at four wins apiece and one loss, but because SFAT then has the head-to-head, -head, he will win the round robin. Yeah. Lucky is sitting at three wins and two losses. Fiction like, also with three wins and two losses, and and Silent and Cobalt actually haven't taken any sets yet, so <laughs> they have to compete to determine who isn't a buster.